Hi guys, welcome to the video. I just wanted to take a few seconds of your time to introduce Hantech Minis, a new video format that I decided to come up with to help those who are really short on time. They just want to get in, find the information they need, learn and get right back to their workflow. Really what I've done is I've carved out sections of our long masterclass videos and consolidated them into small little blocks of five or 10 minutes each. And the idea is they cover one topic and they allow you to learn that topic with practical examples and then get right back to your workflow. So let me go ahead and show you how to locate these videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at Han Tech. Okay, all one word, at Han Tech. And then if you want to go ahead and look at the playlists, you go ahead and scroll down here and you see playlists right there, okay? So I'm gonna tap that with the playlist and that's gonna open up our playlist, okay? So you can see all of the playlists that we already have loaded here on the YouTube channel. And these are the minis, everything that begins with the HT minis. Right now I've got three playlists set up and let's go ahead and take a look at this one that is actually completed. And what you can do then is you can hit play all and you can watch them in a series or you can pick a specific one and just watch the one that you need to watch that covers the topic you're trying to learn at the time. So now let me show you how to also navigate to our website and find these videos on our website. So here we are at han-tech.com and what you do is you go to free video tutorials and you select thinkorswim tutorials. And from there, you go ahead and locate the menu at the left-hand menu right here. That's called uh, TOS Minis. It stands for Thinkorswim. So you go ahead and open that up. And if you expand that, you'll see as new videos are added to the Hantech Minis, they'll be added here and they will all appear here. So that's how you navigate from our website or from our YouTube channel. And I want to thank you so much for your support. And I'm really excited to be able to present this new shortened video format so that you can get what you need and get right back to work. Okay, so let's dive right in. And just a quick heads up before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that we are starting from the point of having the condition already built. And this was constructed in a previous video. And so I'm going to point you to that other video in case you have skipped it or you're not familiar with how to use the condition wizard, you can see here we've got a condition consisting of four different elements. They were created with nothing more than clicking the mouse. You didn't have to write any of this code at all. And I'll point you to the video which shows you exactly how to set this up so that when you get back to this video, you can continue on and follow along in this example and learn how to apply it to the other tools on Thinkorswim. And you'll find that video here on our YouTube channel. So this is the Hantech YouTube channel, and if you go to Playlists, then you go ahead and navigate to the Condition Wizard right here. So go ahead and click View Full Playlist. And right now we've only got one video loaded, but this is the original video in the series, and this is the one that you would want to watch before viewing any of the others in this series so that you understand how to set up that condition. But by all means, if you already know how to work the Condition Wizard and you can build that condition with the four different elements as I demonstrated in, in the first screenshot, then you don't need to watch the other video. You can just continue on and follow along with the examples here. The simple moving average is less than close. Simple moving average from one bar ago is less than the close from two bars ago from three bars ago. And so you see we've stacked all of these conditions together so that they all must be true in order for the overall condition to be true. So if you apply this to a study alert and apply this to a stock, it's only going to trigger when you have the third bar above the simple moving average. The first time the third bar is above the simple moving average. Okay, we'll let that sink in a little bit and then we're going to show you how this is applicable to the other areas of Thinkorswim. Notice that we can still access the ThinkScript editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. This is the code that was generated by simply clicking the mouse and updating some values. I'm going to copy this, so I'm going to select all of that code. I'm going to copy, and now that this is copied to my clipboard, I can go ahead and cancel the study alert. And now I can go to a scan, and we can paste that into a study filter. I've got a study filter added to this scan. As you can see, I'm going to click the edit button in the far right. Let me bring that into the recording window here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and select all of this code and then I'm going to clear it out. I'm going to right click and select paste. So what I've done is I've taken the code that was generated in our study alert that we've already confirmed is going to give us the signals that we want and I've pasted it into this study filter for a scan. And if you go to the condition wizard, and again, this is the condition wizard for the scan, you can see that all of our conditions are listed there. It recognizes the code as compatible with the condition wizard. And if we click OK and then click Scan, we'll find all of the stocks in which that scan evaluates to true. So you want to see how we can connect this a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Charts, and I'll show you the other place where you can apply the code from the condition wizard. And you can build in the condition wizard in any of these places. You can build in the alert section of Market Watch. You can build here in the scan. So once again, you've got the add condition and you can go ahead and edit all of your conditions right here. So the same process that you use in one location is available in many locations. So let's go to charts. Let me go ahead and open this up. I'm going to maximize this chart grid. And then I'm going to go to studies, edit studies, and I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these studies and hit apply. I'm going to go ahead then and create a new study. And I'm going to remove all of this code here. And I'm going to right click and select paste. There you go. I've just created a custom chart study using code that was generated from the condition wizard in the study alert section. So the code is compatible across many areas of the platform. I'm going to click OK and then apply and then click OK. Now you can see that the study is available up here. It's named Video Condition Wiz, okay, and it's currently set to zero. Let's go ahead and add some more to this chart. We'll go to Studies and we'll go ahead and search for the Simple Moving Average and we'll add that. We'll go to Settings and we'll update to 100 period. We'll hit OK and apply. Now what we want to do is we want to see that condition wizard uh, code just as we saw it in the study alert. So let's go ahead and click and drag that down into a lower sub, subgraph. Hit apply and OK. So now you can see that at this location you've got a true, a little spike here from false to true for the third bar above the simple moving average. And what did we have for our scan results? We had, okay, let's just grab this one, CVS. So the scan result is saying that the current daily bar of CVS is the third bar above the 100 period simple moving average. So we'll go to charts and we'll change this symbol to CVS. And you can see the spike at the very far right of the chart. And you can see that yes, indeed it is the third close above the simple moving average.